Can you explain the why the way they are running historic is bad? So, and maybe maybe we should clip this. In in my opinion, the historic announcement is bad for two reasons. They basically need to pick a lane. Either historic is not going to have a competitive focus, so that means they don't need it competitively to be a good format. And if they don't need it competitively to be a good format, they can afford to take a risk by just giving us lots of sets because playing a casual format with more sets is more fun. Or if they want to be conservative with the card choices and the sets in arena, in historic, then support it competitively. If you're going to be conservative, have a reason to be conservative. So I feel like they've they've picked neither lane, so it's like not useful to competitive people because it's not going to have any competitive support, and it's worse for casual people because we have less sweet cards to play with. So it just just seems just seems just like super messed up, no matter how you slice it. So like if they had done one or the other, I'd have been like, yeah, I guess that makes sense to a certain amount of people. So like, if you're going to support it competitively, sure, don't put in the extra sets because you want to know competitively what the format looks like. But if you're not supporting it competitively anyways, just give me all the cards. Let me play sweet things.